Great to see everybody. Welcome, as Jerry Bostick said, thank you for being here. I'll give you a formal wrestling style greeting when I introduce the first match in a minute, because as Brittany shared with you, our great uh, ring announcer, Jason Jones, will be back here in a few weeks. So in the meantime, Brittany and I are gonna take turns introducing the matches. So I hadn't done that even longer than I've done TV. So we'll have fun with that. But we've got a big interview coming up here in a minute. And I'm just waiting on our guests to come out. I'm going to wait and tell you who it is when I see the whites of his eye. the national internet last time we were together and my only concern about him is his eyesight because he told me how great I look after all these years. We got to have your eyes checked. But anybody who says stuff like that, I need to interview again. But seriously, I understand you've got some neat plans that you want to share with us. And so let's tune in and hear from Mick Foley himself. Yeah, hey, hey, thanks, Mark. Uh, I'm, I didn't know it went viral. I just know that you know, in wrestling, we have a general time frame. And I you know, talked for four or five minutes. I believe it was about 25 minutes after I started that I went to the back because I just had so much to speak, talk about and all the great times I had. And the fact that I was coming out here just to thank everyone for giving me a much needed uh, shot in the arm back when I questioned whether or not wrestling was really for me in the late 1980s. So I appreciate that. And uh, Mark, if you talk about plans, you might be talking about one-man show I do, so I'm not here to push tickets, but if you want to see what part of the world I'll be in, go to realmickfoley.com. And one of the cool things about doing these shows, I just get in my car and I just start driving. And so on the way from Florida to Bowling Green, Kentucky, I stopped and I saw Eric Embry, who's here tonight, a man who meant so much to my career. Then along the way, Little Rock, Arkansas, none other than gorgeous Gary Young. And for those of you too young to remember, oh man, we were a pretty good tag team in World Class Championship Wrestling, of course, managed by the late, great Skandor Akbar. And then, as I promised you the last time I was here, I said, I have one day off on the road and I'm taking a road trip to see the legendary Terry Funk in Amarillo, Texas. And, uh, so Terry kept saying, a factor, so what is it that brings you uh, through town? And I had to say, I'm not going through town. No one just ends up going through Amarillo. <laughs> I said, I took a drive out here. It's about a seven hour round trip because I wanted to see what? you and doing? thank you for hey! everything. Did, did you invite him? No, I did not invite him. Uh, hey, buddy, we, me and my buddy Mark are having a great time. Uh, best of my estimation, not a damn soul out here paid a ticket to see you. So, that's something to say. Foley, 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 Foley. Let me tell you something, Foley. You say no one's here to see me, right? But in reality, Every single one of these people are here for me. You want to know why? Because you're washed up. You're old. You're the past. He's a legend, huh? Guess what, AJ? You're washed up, too. Help 
from the back pulls Foley away. to what we were doing. You want a piece of Perry Jackson? You sure? You want to think that, think that through, pal? So I'll tell you what, back in those days when I was struggling, you remember Frank Dusick? Frank Dusick said, hey, Cactus Jack, you've got the heart, you've got the will, but if you want to improve, and I kid you not, he told me to start watching one man, and that man was Perry Jackson. So Action Jackson, you're gonna take this guy on, but I want to apologize for saying nobody came out here to see you. My job's not to walk in the past, my job is trying to lift up the, the, the wrestlers of today and the stars of tomorrow. But I'll tell you what, Action Jackson, I don't want you to feel all alone in your match. I want you to have a special guest in case of emergency. So I am gifting to you Hey, brother. Angel, go to the I back. I sure do appreciate that. And I love you very much. Take care, Camacho. You're still the greatest, brother. Okay. That's what I, we in this business, we refer to as a shoot. That was Frank Dusick not telling me to look at Macho Man or any of the great stars on top that day. He was telling me to look at Action Jackson. Said, you'll learn more from watching him than anybody else. So do your thing tonight, my brother. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all the great fans supporting us. Jackson and Nick Foley and Sacco.